This does not seem like any accident or self-defense. I see my daughter as being murdered and it being intentional and something has to be done. Let me tell you niggas a little something about me. I got nine cars, they don't need no key. Clock on my side, I've been riding through the streets. I've been getting to the money, I got need for speed, yo. 21-year-old Tiana Dye was a remarkable young woman who outshone her peers. She was hardworking and had mastered various skills, including hair and makeup. However, her side hustles never distracted her from achieving high honors at Alabama State University while pursuing a biology degree. Her beauty, brains, and work ethic did not go unnoticed. While many congratulated her, some were jealous. Tiana moved off campus into a house just a block from campus for her junior year. Shortly after moving in, she began having problems with a roommate. Despite being informed about the violence and the troublesome roommate, the landlord did nothing. Tragically, after a year of enduring violence in the household, Tiana was stabbed. A video on social media shows her entering the house while another woman exits with a knife, placing it on the porch before leaving. This is the horrific story of Tiana Dye, a young woman full of potential who was taken from us in a brutal and barbaric way. Welcome to the American Crime, Femicide Channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future uploads. Hi, boy, what they Clubbing, okay, staying out for nothing. Okay, 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 that's what I'm trying to do, but I'm trying Tiana was exceptional at whatever she did. Throughout high school, she maintained good grades and was heavily involved in extracurricular activities. When she graduated, she did so with honors. She continued her success at Alabama State University, a historically black college that is similar to Clark Atlanta where her father Johnny went. She chose ASU because of its culture, it offered her degree of choice, and it was somewhere her boyfriend was attending. As she ventured off to college, she continued to do well. She maintained good grades and was a proud member of the Honor Society and the ASG's NAACP chapter. In her spare time, she was a makeup artist and hairstylist. She showcased her skills on her multiple social media sites. She was so talented that her family and friends would trust her with their own hair and makeup. When Di wasn't working or studying, she could be found posting funny TikToks. Time for you to take your medicine. Already right, take my medicine. Um, no, you did not. Already right, take my medicine. You did not. Did you? Did not, did Patty. You? Did not. Did, did you? not. Did, did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Patty, you did not. They're right here. Already right, take it, but if you want me to take it again and overdose, it ain't gonna be nobody's fault but your own. Uh, well, uh, wait, 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 wait. No, don't back it? down. Not gonna get them. When I die and when I get the glory, I'm going to tell God, don't charge me, charge her. Because I wasn't ready to be here. She fast forwarded me here. She fast forwarded me here. Patty, why do you do this to me? You know I'm married and I have bills to pay. You wait one doggone minute. Don't you go whining to me. You wouldn't be able to maintain my schedule. I had to manage seven children, two husbands, and three bar friends all at the same time. Everything seemed to be going well for her. She was finishing up the requirements to complete her degree, entering her last school year at ASU, and had just turned 21, which she celebrated in style with a photo shoot. While most students went home for the summer, Tiana decided to stay and take extra classes, a decision that would tragically prove to be devastating. Tiana lived on campus until her junior year, when she moved off campus into a house with a few other girls. While most of them were friendly, they didn't get along with another female roommate. This roommate was messy, argumentative, and a bully. Over the last year, several fights had occurred between her and Tiana. Despite reporting the bully to the landlord, nothing happened. The roommate's lease was supposed to be terminated, but it never was. Her removal might have prevented the tragic events that followed. On June 14, Tiana was seen on camera cleaning when she went into the house. 
Allegedly, while inside, the bully roommate stabbed her to death. The roommate was seen leaving the home and placing the knife on the porch step. Someone discovered Tiana in a pool of blood and called the police and ambulance. They rushed her to the hospital, where she was declared dead. With little public attention, her mother, Danielle Luckett, turned to the media for help in seeking justice. It's the worst day of my life. And it still is. It's been three days since Danielle Luckett's daughter, Tiana Dye, was found dead, stabbed in the chest, and she says it hasn't gotten any easier. I don't understand how to live forward knowing I'll never see my child again, ever. 21-year-old Tiana, who was studying biochemistry at Alabama State University, was living in off-campus housing during summer classes. Luckett got the devastating call Sunday about her daughter's death. Montgomery police are still investigating what happened, and while they have not made an arrest, Luckett has a suspect in mind. They haven't done their due diligence. My daughter shared everything with me. Luckett shared with me ring camera footage of someone leaving a knife on her daughter's porch. We won't show it because there's been no arrest. Police have not named a person of interest. And that's why Luckett can't wrap her head around why whoever stabbed her daughter is free. So she's not giving up her fight for justice. This does not seem like any accident or self-defense. I see my daughter as being murdered and it being intentional and something has to be done. An enraged friend, who was also a roommate of both Tiana and the other girl, has come forward with damning text messages. In these messages, Di complained to the landlord about issues with cleanliness, lack of respect, and violent behavior involving the other roommate, who is alleged to be the killer. It's infuriating that despite these warnings, nothing was done to protect Tiana. It's been two weeks since Tiana was killed, and there have been no arrests. Her family has started a GoFundMe to assist with the cost of her burial. The description reads, It is with profound sorrow that we announce the tragic passing of Tiana Dye. Tiana Dye was a dedicated and accomplished student at Alabama State University, who tragically lost her life in her final year of undergraduate studies. She was a proud member of the Honor Society and the ASG's NAACP chapter, consistently demonstrating her commitment to academic excellence and social justice. Her hard work and perseverance earned her a spot on the Dean's List, reflecting her exceptional dedication to her studies. Balancing her academic responsibilities, she also worked to support herself, embodying the spirit of resilience and determination. Tiana Dye leaves behind a legacy of achievement and inspiration for her peers and community. We are reaching out to our community, family, and friends to seek support during this incredibly difficult time. Any contributions will go towards funeral expenses and supporting Tiana's family as they navigate this heartbreaking loss. Your kindness and generosity are deeply appreciated. This tragedy is barbaric, shocking, and heartbreaking. If the problematic roommate had been removed from the household, Tiana might still be alive. 
Dai was on the verge of graduating with honors, expanding her beauty business, and blossoming into the woman she wanted to be. Now, her family has to bury her unexpectedly, with little information about her death and the fear that their daughter's killer is still on the loose. In a sad yet poignant post, her father wrote, ASU vs. FAMU. My daughter loved her HBCU. Alabama State University, even though dad was a graduate of one exceptional university, Clark Atlanta University, I thought she would come home with a college degree not a death certificate. As they continue to grapple with this loss, let's keep them in our thoughts and prayers. May Tiana die rest in peace.